everybody. I know I've been gone for a little while. If you are new here, my name is Megan and I was a substitute last school year and I'm gearing up to do the same. I had a couple of interviews a few months ago and nothing really panned out. I applied all summer long and nothing. Um, I got a couple of callbacks while I was in my summer school teaching so I was unable to go to those interviews so obviously you know that didn't work out so yeah that is kind of how my summer went it was very frustrating I know I had a lot of you who were like oh keep trying keep going and um, I did for the most part there was a bit of time where I just kind of took some time off of applying and was really considering what I wanted to do going forward and kind of in a last ditch effort I decided I'd apply for some clerk or secretarial positions as well as some tutor or support staff positions. So that is where I am headed today. If you can't tell I do have my interview ensemble at least for the top and then just my black pants and black shoes on and yeah um this principal emailed me last night saying that they were wanting me to come and interview or asking if i wanted to for this title one tutor slash noon supervisor position so i'm not exactly sure quite what that means um, I read the description over quite a few times and um, tried to get a good idea of what it was. Now I'm feeling a little bit nervous because literally this was like organized last night and then he was like, oh, do you want to do it at 1030? And yeah, I had just woken up at 930. So um, my dog's really sick right now. So I was taking care of her all night. And I was like, yeah, let's do a later time. So we agreed on 140. It is currently 1258. So I'm gonna probably be leaving um, semi soon. I don't wanna get there too early, but I like to get there around 10 to 15 minutes early. So that's gonna be my goal. And that's a big recommendation or tip that I have for you guys is just getting to your interviews early. I know it's kind of a thing that people know, but yeah. So in case you're wondering, um, I didn't film anything this summer other than the summer school. Today is actually September 5th, it's Wednesday. I know a lot of teachers are starting today. So if this is your first day or was your first day, I guess, since you guys are probably getting done at this point, um, with your first day. I hope it went really well and if you're in like your um, field experience or your student teaching, I hope those went well um, also. And yeah, can you tell I'm nervous? Oh my gosh. <sighs> so yeah, I hope you guys had a great first day or if your first day was a week ago or two weeks ago, I hope it was really awesome as well. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. So oh, there's my alarm. I'm going to pause it for just a few minutes so that I can quick talk and then I'm going to head out. So I did take a couple of notes um, just on the back of here. So I don't really want to show you like which school it's at, but it is a Title I tutor position. That's what the title of it was. It's 5.75 hours, 9.30 to 3.45. Now that's not ideal, but um, you know, it is something else and it's more within one school, still helping students. And he even asked if I was interested in getting substitute experience at the same time. So I'm really hoping that it means that I'll be able to still sub as well. So Fingers crossed for that one. $16.72 per hour, um, providing remedial support for identified students for reading and math, assessing student mastery, working with individuals in small groups. And I think it said something about doing the activities that the classroom teacher assigns. So we'll kind of have to see what that 
is about, and then bi-weekly meetings and individual records for students. So to be honest, it doesn't sound necessarily like I'm doing a ton of work. I'm working with students and I wanna see progress, but it doesn't necessarily seem like I'm the one creating all the lessons. On the description, it said that you need a associate's degree um, or like experience working with students. So obviously I have more than that. So yeah, I just tried to apply to some different things. Uh, I knew that the teaching and apparently the long-term subs weren't working out for me at this point. So I wanted to try to branch out to something else. Um, if it's <clears throat> sorry, if this doesn't work, I am going to start exploring some other options. Um, I also started a babysitting position with a family in my neighborhood. I might start another tutor position. So I've just been kind of seeing other ways that I could still work with students and children, but not necessarily as a substitute. I'm fine doing that for another year. I just didn't, I don't know, I wanted to see if there were other options because being a substitute is kind of a guaranteed position and these other ones aren't necessarily guaranteed. Plus, if, I'm hoping if I get experience within one school, maybe they'll have positions open and then I can get something else. So we will have to see. Um, I've already talked for a really long time, so I'm gonna let you guys go and I'll let you know how things go after my interview. Wish me luck. Bye. All right, guys, I am back with good news. Eee! Um, so I didn't officially get the job, but he basically like, so, okay, let me back up. <laughs> so I got to the interview about 10 minutes early and I basically sat for 10 minutes while they kind of prepped and stuff and came back from lunch and all that. So then, um, really he didn't ask me about the questions. He kind of just asked me about my experiences and I assumed that the questions were answered from talking about that. He said he really liked to hire licensed teachers, licensed, yeah, teachers. Um, so that part was looking really good for me um, because again, like I told you guys, you only need an associate's, a two years associate's degree to get this position. So they were really, really happy to see my name and my experiences pop up. So we kind of talked about that. He asked me a few different questions like, do I know what PBIS is? Which I generally do. Um, it just like, if you ask me to, clearly explain it like verbatim off of what the definition is i probably couldn't tell you but anyways so like pbis and fontes and pinnell and different things like that that i am familiar with it just would be like a little bit tough to clearly define what it is but i am familiar with those things so yeah we are talking about that it's also a noon supervisor position so we were kind of talking about that he was giving me scenarios about helping students and what would be my first priority when helping out in the lunchroom and different things like that so yeah we kind of talked about that and it was really interesting to find out that he says in that school district in particular, you have to have a K through six license. So that was super helpful to hear that because he said that people who don't have that immediately get filtered out of the system. So they never even actually saw my resume or any of my information. And he saw me apply for this job and was like, why didn't I see this girl when I was hiring for teachers? So he said, definitely if I'm trying to get a job in that school district, I need to get my K license here in Minnesota. So that might be something that I start exploring and yeah, I'm really excited. I hope my references, you know, give me positive or give him positive um, information and stuff like that and they can attest to me being a good teacher and 
all that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it was super funny because he kind of seemed like I felt really good about this position. I mean, I'm kind of overqualified-ish. Not really, but like kind of. <laughs> and um, so I had a good feeling the whole time. Him and the literacy specialist were super nice and kind. And it was just a really nice conversation the entire time. My mouth was like super, blah, 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 I don't know. I just kept like, couldn't form coherent um, explanations and stuff. So luckily my experience could speak for me. But yeah, um, and then he was like, okay, like I have to call references and kind of see and do background checks and all of that but I'll be contacting you really, really soon. And I was like, okay, great, thanks so much. Nice to meet you too. So I start walking out of the building and um, kind of right as the first doors were gonna close, he was like, Megan, wait. And he was like, you know, we both looked at each other and I was like, we're gonna hire her, right? And he was like, yeah, <laughs> as long as references and background checks go well. So yeah, that was really, really cool to hear. And he just kept talking about like, you know, get that K license. And um, they hire a lot of the people that work within their school. And he said, you know, if I get a reference letter from him, now that opens up eight other schools in the school district. So he said that this can be a really, really awesome opportunity. I can also sub if they need it. So I'll already know the students. I'll be working with them all year long. I'll be able to conduct assessments, work in small groups, make recommendations for students to kind of move around in groups and stuff like that. So he says this is a perfect experience. They have other teachers who, or other tutors, well, at least one who also has a um, elementary license as well. So um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I do like the small group stuff. Obviously, this isn't ideal long term, but I mean, it pays the same as substitute teaching. I think it's like a couple hours shorter, so that part's a bummer, but you know, I have my babysitting job. I'm gonna look into a different tutor job. It would just be like with one family, not within a school district. So I'm gonna find other ways to kind of make those, make a little bit more money and make things happen. So I am excited. And yeah, that is kind of my little job update. Um, but I'm gonna make a separate video because I feel like this one's already getting kind of long to just kind of go through um, what I was feeling this summer and kind of what brought me to this point, I guess, um, because you just saw me after summer school teaching and you didn't see me since then. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an update video and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in that one. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope this brought a little spark of excitement to your lives because you know, this was just like crazy, just happened yesterday and just happened today. And so I'm really excited and I hope that references go well because this seems like an amazing opportunity that I'm really really excited about so wish me luck and I'll update you guys soon about this experience otherwise you can watch my little update video about kind of what I've been up to and all of that and kind of how I've been feeling about teaching and yeah so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, you can go ahead and push that like button. It helps get this to other teachers so maybe they can have a little spark of excitement in their lives too. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate your support, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!